day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host today, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the Library of Runia, where today we have a new invitation to send out. Now, you people might be asking me, Parafox, why aren't you doing the abnormality immediately? You did the abnormality immediately last time, and I'm working on the basis of, well, these always take me a while, and I don't know how long this is going to take. So, if it does end up taking me a while, and because there's a new abnormality today as well, that means that I can spend both abnormalities on the next episode. Haha, -ha, you all gotta wait to see me suffer. Ha 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 ha. So let's see what this today's invitation is all about, shall we? Okay, that was an interesting sound effect, I'll give you that. Ha. Ah. Five, seven, eight, two, one, seven, nine, eight, two, one, three. What? One, two, nine, one, five, seven, six, two, three, four, eight. Five. Lydia? That one's female? Five, eight, three, two, zero, nine, one, nine, five, three. Six. Six eight three zero two four one nine three zero zero five zero four three. Ah, uh, I knew it. It's pretty much impossible to understand the language of sweepers without an interpreter to translate them for you. Wait, I can promptly translate their speech as long as I, as long as it has the form of lang of a language. What? Seriously? You can make sense out of those few sentences and decode a whole language from them? I'm that capable. It's... it's becoming clear. It's becoming clear that the night is no longer ours alone. I know. I know we have that we have fewer and fewer places to properly dine at with our families. I hear that the families who dine at the nest of Elcorp are recently having a hard time seeing what is in front of them because of the mist covering the area. I hear that some families even get lost in the fog and fail to leave. Why? Why are we not letting Mother know? If Mother knows, she will rage an, an all-out war against the Index. We are not certain enough to risk losing our families to battle. It is true that the Index truly has betrayed us, and if Mother is too late to realize their treachery, many of our families will starve. They will slowly die out. Less food means Mother will have difficulty fostering new family members. We all have our own homes, our own families, and our own children. I am not advocating neglect. I am simply saying that we need to practice caution. You know that it has only been a week since those despicable filth known as the Carnival raided our dens of our brothers and ate our families. Five, five days ago, Lehir de Krupp de Loop invaded my younger sibling's den and brutally killed two families. Three days ago, a proxy of the Index laid waste on our neighbors. Two days ago, Puppeteer took my children and yes. I know, I know that those incidences all happened at night. I know that our presence is not as powerful as before. I know that we have lost our dominance over the night time of this nest. Mother should be aware as well. We know that we need more space to use as our den. Then why? We will only lose more of our dens if we get involved in bigger conflicts. If we were to engage in full-fledged battle against the Index, we will have even less in our hands. We must make it through on our own. What? What will we possibly do? It's, it is the library. We must go to the library. 
I know that the library has the books of those who worked the thumb and the index. Have you received its invitation? I have. With this, we can confirm if the index truly, truly has turned its back on mother and our families. Moreover, this will help us relieve the hardships of our families dining at N Nestel. If we are not too late by then, that is. I understand what you mean, Uncle. Let us call our neighbors. Let us head to the library together. Let us tell our children to lock the doors and not let strangers in before we leave. Let us, let us as parents protect our mother, our neighbors, our family, and our children with, or, with our own hands. Whoa, are we really getting sweepers as guests here? They have the capability to collectively go somewhere with a clear purpose at a time that isn't night and talk so fluently? That's funny. I expected them to be a little coarser. I once got an interpreter to try and talk to, talk to them before. I thought they could only speak in jumbled words back then. But boy oh boy, look at them using complete sentences. And they're so talkative with each other too. That means the interpreter I paid an arm and a leg for was a total scam and a ripoff. Are the sweepers all composed of family members? It's probably just a symbolic term they chose to forge bonds between each other. I doubt they're actually families by blood. It's a metaphor it's metaphorical, like the titles most other syndicates use. I re it's really annoying having my microphone in the way of just having of the text like that. And apologies if that just made a lot of noise. I heard they kidnapped children from the outskirts and the back streets. I don't really suggest looking too deep into sweepers. They're all over the back streets and the outskirts. And I don't think they have much to do with the freedom you're looking for, anyway. Dear neighbors, this is the library. This is the place the scum of the back streets have been rattling on about. We did not expect to come to the library ourselves. Greetings, dear guests. Greetings. Are you our family? There's no way I am. Now is there. However, you speak in the language of our family. We can speak with other members of our family. I try to talk to the guests on their level these days, as you can see. I am impressed. This is surprising. Behold, neighbors, the library is not like any other place. I know. This is the first time we are having a real conversation with someone who is not our family. Family, 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 family. Could you stop with that horrib horrid rubbish? Family is important. It is not horrid. We apologize. We are simply here to take the books we desire. And in regards to the mist covering this nest, do you know anything about it? You'll find out when you read the books, no? That is true. All we want is to acquire the books we want to find. We will be satisfied. Fine. May you find your book in this place. Oh, of course there's five of them. Alright. Let's see. Defensive die, plus one power. When another character dies, recover 820% max HP at the end of that scene. There's three scenes. There's three axes there. Well, this is going to be just like the bloody... Whatamacallits, isn't it? Well, they're weak to piercing, so logic says use Netzak. Plus, Netzak has sustain, so it should work out better, too. Because the very clear statement behind this, all is for mother and family. I didn't read them. I'm very bad. That was very bad of me. I apologize. All of these cards are legendary. Why are they all legendary? 3-3-1-9-7-3. On use. Gain persistence for four scenes. This page is exhausted on use. It's melee, so it's not a gun. 
Exclusive combat dice. On use. All offensive dice this on this page gain on hit. Recover 2 HP. On hit. On hit. If the unmodified die rolls a 3, recycle this dice. Up to 6 times. What do you mean recycle the dice? Does that mean use it again? Because if that's the case, that's a stupid amount of attacks. I really am scared of what persistence possibly is, though. I will be completely honest about that. Alright, let's see. You're taking two attacks, and you have to avoid both of them. So... There's not really much you can do against that, is there? Suppose you can clean up the first attack in hopes. And then cumulus wall the second. I don't know how to deal with trash disposal, I'll admit that. So I'm just letting it hit Netzak because Yeah. Because yeah. Go. That's a big hit. Deflect. Annoying. Well, I staggered one. That's the main thing. That's the main goal. You've got to kill them one at a time if you want to have any chance at hope. Persistent. Upon taking lethal damage, revive with a, por with a portion of 80% max HP at 80% chance. This chance is halved each time the character successfully revives. Are you... What? You know, it's just occurred to me, but why do I bother with Endless Battle? When Faint Memories is just better than it in every way. It's because of my damn obsession for variety. It's a case of, oh, it's... It's got to be variety, because variety is better. Yes. Clearly. Alright, let's go. Good. It looks like they've also changed how... Things like power work. In that it's automatically applied at the end of the calculation. All allies for three scenes gain 10% extra HP. That is what we need. Because it does mean that Netzak and... Guardsman can thus just accept taking a couple of penalties here and there. Or a couple of hits, just to make sure things die. I thought that page got exhausted on use. Truth of the matter is, we still just need to just focus down one of them. Just one. Alright. Alright, let's see if this works. Let's see if we kill the one in the middle, is the main thing. Oh! Heavy- you- I love how it says de description not found of number one. Ooh, so close. Ooh, but good hit though. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Did they all restore their health? It looks like they did, yeah. Alright. Okay. We can work with this. So, you've got a couple of binding arms now. And no one attacking you, so you got free reign to attack whoever the hell you please. And it's gonna be that one right there. As for you, Netzak, you have... The ability to sky clear and cut someone. Wow. This... 
this is going to be awkward. Because that's a lot of crap that's trying to hit me. And more than likely will probably succeed. Hmm. Let's see, you get negative two power, right? So that so that's just, that's a deceiving, that's a very deceiving number. It's a very weird way to do a card. It's three to five and two to four. No, two to six. Three to five and two to six. So, three to five, uh, that's not really that good, but, and two to six. Suppose the, the one to five could beat it, but, I'm gonna use the high speed stuff just because I have no faith in it actually working. You will lose your persistence at the end of the next round, won't you? I think. And it is for that reason I want to d try and stagger the pair of you so that you can't then just recover. I can't believe that worked. Staggered. This one's almost staggered. You got binding arms again, so props to you there. It's at the end of the scene, they recover their HP. So the obvious logic would mean that we want to do everything in our power to kill the ones that we can. Right? Yeah. And I think I'm butchering them, butchering them enough this time in order for that to happen. See? Two dead. Glorious. And those two had barely taken any damage, meaning that they didn't actually restore that much either. You are weak to blunt, so your best chance is to counter that one. As for the rest of them, well, there's nothing we can do much to it. So, which one do we want to kill? That one's almost staggered, so I think we should just go full Hail Mary into the other one. Alright, let's do this. There's no point to your attack if you're already full health, after all. And he didn't get the percentage chance to just randomly what am I call it. That's really awesome. I'm gonna give you to Netzak, because Netzak's the one which gets lots of extra cards. So guys, uh, if we could just, uh, again, hail Mary into this one guy, somehow, with all of your attacks and everything, we should, hopefully, be able to kill him this turn, hopefully, if we are lucky, and we know we're not lucky, so, but we can pretend to we're lucky. Let's go! Ooh, one HP. Goodbye, Mr. Sweeper. I am sorry, dear neighbors. You should be. You sucked. And now we're against more sweepers. Are they the exact goddamn same? I should probably look at this this time rather than just ignoring it. I kind of ignored their pages last time. I never thought to look. And it does look like it's exactly the same. Huh. Well, considering Netzak team is basically full health, if not probably slightly higher, go for it. I see less things to sweep in the streets. All is for mother and our family. Really? Just immediately three of them on Netzak? Who's number six going for? That one. Alright, number six. Well... 
I'm going to teach you a binding arms. Meanwhile, he can overcome crisis. All of them are using persistence. It doesn't matter then. Oh, automated movement's pretty good in this situation. All right, we're going for this sweeper first of all. Let's go, everyone. Good dodge. Now you can pretend to murder. Huh, I was not expecting you to lose one of those. Okay, guys. Those were some awfully low rolls. I hope you realize that. That is not the kind of numbers that we need if we want to have a good time. Now, Netzak is getting attacked, but hopefully we can stagger the one, one of them so it doesn't matter as much. They did only have three persistence pages as well each, meaning it's not likely for them to, like, kill each other. I'm not even going to use the Sparkling Spear. I'm going to wait to see if he actually gets staggered. Which he does! Sweet! Wow, you rolled minimum and he rolls maximum. I love you, game. That's better. That's more what I expect. Minus the fact the numbers we hit were absolutely atrocious. Alright, the initial stages is basically just defense, which you can't even do. Jesus Christ, why? where are all your zero cost cards? You're taking damage no matter what, I can't stop that. You're attacking her, or him. With the, with the Healy ability. Which frankly doesn't do that much damage. Plus this one is resistant to it. So maybe the better use of this one's abilities is simply to attack the one that, you know, is hurt. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the offense path. Actually, that was a zero cost, wasn't it? I'm not surprised. Alright, the fact you're alive again, and you're using persistence again, is kind of bloody Christing annoying. Netzak, get some of the car- your- the cards which restore your bloody light! Jesus Christ, guys! Alright, Netzak's taking damage. I can't stop that. Right, let's go. You're attacking Insomnia. Why? Stop it. It's the problem of being outnumbered all the time, you know? Alright, netzak has got two attacks on him, and he can defend against one of them. He will defend against the one with less stagger resistance in the hopes that it works. Then, you have nothing going for you. At all. Okay. I think this should work. So, despite having the lowest HP, Insomnia is being attacked by two different people. Which two, you might ask? The answer's simple. It's this one and this one, just because they're both using the 2 to 4 ability for persistence, and he's using Overcome Crisis, which he gets plus 2 power for, so it's a 4 to 8, which is much better than his 2 to 7, meaning I do have the advantage. Netzak is using work giga 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 against that 
with m likely no hope of it actually working. It's just because of my luck. It's just he needs it to get the energy restore so he can use Daring Decision. Then we've got a Cumulus Wall against one of those persistent abilities just because we can. And then Red Notes to try and enhance the strength of everyone. And then Tailoring to inflict on this guy who's doing the big abilities, which I shouldn't really do on using him because he's got so little stagger left. But I'm doing it all the same. Go! Nice! 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 Awesome! It's dead! He didn't get staggered! Yes! 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 Keep going! Staggered! Good job! Good job! Oh, nice work! We must move on regardless. We can still sweep them. It is okay. We still have more fuel. I am sorry, dear neighbors. Well, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. You do have persistence on you, which is irritating. But, we can daring this is no, no, never mind. We can whirligig that one and daring decision the one that's already down. That's the better way to do it. You're doing extract fuel as well. Okay, you're an idiot. Got it. So, to counter your idiocy, we can use Sparkling Spear on you. And then, yeah, I'll just use Red Notes again. As for you, you can Extreme Edge it. And then you have free reign to kind of do whatever the hell you wish. So you can use the one cost and the zero cost to do a lot of damage to him. Okay, okay, good, good, go. Expected. We did better than I thought. And now you're staggered, so you can't really do much to us. Excellent. Excellent. Dead. Brilliant! Who was the next one that staggered? It's okay, we still have more fuel. I could not finish the sweeping. Alright, Insomnia has no energy left, so he's gonna ha have to suffer a little bit. As for you, though, you have one ability, one attack which can be dodged, meaning the best choice for me to do in this circumstance is probably automated movement on that thing. And then overcome crisis, because then I still get the dodge. As for you, I kind of want you to transpierce just because. Go! Excellent! He only got hit by one instead of two! Oh, and you avoided all the attacks! Sometimes, RNG doesn't want to completely screw me over. And the fact I have made such a statement means it is now completely the opposite. Okay. This should work. Hopefully. You're probably gonna- you're probably staggered this turn. But it doesn't matter so much because there's so few of them now. That I expected to do better. And there's the stagger. Good thing it only got one hit in. And you're a corpse. Glorious. Amazing. And because they were already full health, because we suck, they didn't get any healing done. Nice. That one we have to intercept, though. Right, Netzak. You have an awful lot of cards. All of which you can use to intercept other people. So that they can thus just go full ham on everyone. And everything. Or rather, we just spam our, all of our overcome crises to get our energy back. Or that, you know. What the hell kind of noise just happened? Right, we have free reign 
to attack. It is good, it is amazing, and we love it. In fact, it has persistence on it really is concerning in making me think that I should attack it with other- with everyone, but I really can't be asked to. So I think this ought to do with it. There we go, there it's dead. Good thing I attacked the other guy a bit. Okay, you good chap, you have 10 HP left. You have trash disposal, is it? Well, Mr. Trash Disposal, we do not care about your tr disposal of the trash. We care about your mindless f bloody death, which we are going to cause. I love how you got clean up back because you never used it to attack, but you still got the extra light from it. I wonder if that's intentional or one of those minor overlook bugs. Alright, go! Goodbye, Mr. Sweeper. One way or another, you shall become a corpse today. Excellent. I don't even need to do more than that. Goodbye. Goodbye! Ha 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 ha! You couldn't finish the sweeping, no. And yes, we did win! Right. Now we get the special sweepers. As well as two regulars. Interesting how they're all blue. You know, it's just occurred to me, but have I actually been getting pages from this? You're endured to s to the damage, but not to the stagger. S recover two HP on successful attack. Got it. We kill you last. Recover two stagger resist on successful attack. You're awkward, and so are you. All right then. Well, obviously we use Netzak again to start things off just because they've got the advantage of being fully lighted up. Then, we need to think about who we want to use after that. And... That'll be a very good question. I lean towards Hod, possibly. Actually, let's not be stupid. Let's check if they have different pages. What's this? Sweep the back streets. Inflict Paralysis and Recover HP. That's different. That's a different ability. What about you? You have For the Family. Give one protection to two random allies. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. And you get... Absolutely nothing that special. In fact, what are you guys losing? Oh, you're losing the this ability to recover HP and lose combat dice for all other pay- You don't look like you even have two dice. No, you don't. Interesting. And you're slightly slower as well. Interesting. You two have an awful lot of stagger resist. But you've got the HP. Either way, we're using Netzak to start things off. For the sake of our children, we must acquire the objects called books from this place. Our our work is to sweep. I see less things on this to sweep on the streets. We shall commence the sweeping. We shall solve the matter on our own so that mother does not grow greatly upset. All right, let me guess. You're all starting with persistence. Yep. You're all starting with persistence, meaning it's the best chance for us to do some damage to you. I think I'm going for this sweeper at the back here first. Just because it makes the most sense to me. So Netzak, what attacks do you have? Marionette. Marionette could actually work quite well for the attacking part. I kind of want to save automated movement. 
But there's no point in saving it, because if I don't use it, I'm not going to have the mana to use it. So... In fact, I have doubts Netzak's going to even be able to act next turn, quite frankly. Alright. You're being blocked, you're being blocked, you're being blocked, you're being blocked. You're all persisting, and we hate you for that ability. Especially when bullcrap like that happens. Alright, I think the game's had enough of giving me luckiness. Considering it just gave me all minimums. Netzak, can you act? You can act. Ooh. You've got that attack on you, and quite frankly, that attack really won't do much to them, so I'm going to ignore you. In the meanwhile, though, you've got two attacks on you. That one, which is kind of meh, and that one, which is kind of bad. Fortunately, you can't do anything to avoid being hit by it, so you can fake memories and try and hope it works. Should I just ignore that attack and go straight for the reg this one over here? I'm honestly leaning to the yes. Because in the end, we do still need to kill them. And frankly, he can do that to ensure it's doing the right things. You can whirl a gig. Which, quite frankly, is probably the better option to be hit by it. Alright, you're attacking that, we're not defending that. You're attacking them, which we're defending with faint memories and hoping. You're de attacking them with that, which is, again, faint memories and hoping. You're attacking uh, us with that, which is going to be walled, so it should be fine. And you're using that, which is being countered by Whirligig, should work. Hopefully, let's go. Okay, that didn't go as planned. Alright. Not to the worst. Not the worst that could have happened. Alright, it's now staggered. Excellent. You're using that ability. That ability sucks. Alright. As usual, we're laying full heavy into the one that staggered. With the prey and hope that we murder the bastarding thing. One way or another. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, that could have been better, but the fact you only got hit once means it doesn't... It's certainly not bad. One dead sweeper. Perfect. We must clean everything before us. I am still okay. This is... This is no time to assess the situation. The sweeping must go on. Alright. Now then. Now then. Two attacks on Netzak. All attacks happening suck. And they don't matter. Okay. This is good. This is really good. We want to attack this sweeper next, because it's a sweeper. No wait, you're Anton. We should be attacking that one in the back. And plus, it is almost staggered too. So... And plus, it's going to get staggered this round, meaning it won't be able to persist itself again. Awesome! Alright. Let's do this. Go! Netzak, Sky Kieran Clutch. Not as effective as I was expecting. That kind of was. Excellent. Even. That works. Glorious. Glorious. And now it's no longer persistent. Meaning we decimate the goddamn thing, which we could do if you had any... 
attack cards, Netzak. But all of them are just persisting. Using the persist ability. Of which we know just doesn't matter. So Natzak, you're just going to take it because you've got too many three cost cards. I should probably think around that, honestly. But luckily, that fixer should most definitely be dead. Yep, most definitely dead. And luckily, we also used a bunch of draw cards, which, which we never used. But apparently, we didn't get to draw the cards either. For the sake of our families in the village, we cannot stop. I am sorry, dear neighbor. We must do our mandatory work promptly. There is still so many. This is no time to assess the situation. The sweeping must go on. All right. Well, you're using that annoying ability, which I despise. So, we're going to daring decision this man. Plus, he's the one resistant to slashing damage. And if we're moving on to Hod next round, well, that's kind of awkward. Because Hod likes to do slashing damage. Right. Are we ready? We are. So, let us go. That should be... That I should be able to beat, right? Yeah. That... No. That I expected. That I should do damage, though. Excellent. Nice work. I expected better work than that, I'll admit. Okay. Anton is staggered with 4 HP. He is dead. There is nothing they can do to defend that. So, the thing we need to work out is how do we defend against these and who's get being attacked next. Let's see. That can do a maximum of 5 and 6, so 11. You have a minimum of 2 block, which means that'll get reduced to at least 7. Especially as none of it is slashing either. So you can't get staggered, so using red notes to, to kill Anton is safe and fine. As for you, though. Insomnia doesn't have much HP left. But... Guardsman has plenty, so Guardsman can thus take this in order to to defend against him. Also, I have just realized that she is using the protection ability, meaning there's no guarantee that's going to kill, kill him anyway. So, Netzak, you can't really use any of your cards, and none of them are particularly effective against our current targets, because they're both defensive cards. So I'm going to just leave you to do nothing. I'm going to... And you don't even manage to get through our block. Perfect. A neighbor has died. I hope other neighbors stay strong. Pay no attention to your surroundings when you sweep. Okay. You're doing nothing. You're doing something annoying. Sky clearing cut, best way to deal with that. It looks like, considering she's got less sta less stagger, we're killing Big Mama this turn. Plus, she is also losing her what am I call it this turn. She will likely be staggered and thus lose persistent, meaning we can use that to thus kill her heavily next turn. It's perfect, it's glorious, it's foolproof. Let's do this! Excellent. Glorious. Nice and staggered. No resisting us this time. Right, what are you doing? Persistence. Oh, and it's on someone who doesn't give a damn. Well, this is just perfect. People, it's time to full ham, big mama. 
time for you to die, big mama! We're perfectly ready, and we're ignoring this guy because they're not doing anything important! <laughs> time to die! Glorious. Oh, and we took one damage. Oh, I am so scared. We must clean everything before us. I hope everyone else can finish the work safely. You mean the one person versus our four? I love how these four have single-handedly killed everything. I just love that. They have single-handedly killed everything. They just have. It's not even an if or but about it. They just have. Ah, magnificent. You're nice and staggered. Admittedly, you've got that annoying, persistent crap on you. But, considering... You're the last one, and I don't think there's anything you could do against him. Especially considering he just got double binding, which is very nice. Netzak has got full cost cards. You're getting forceful gestured at the same time as Sparkling Speared. And then just clean up in case it's in case you're still alive, which I highly doubt. Go! You didn't even get the 80% the chance. Booyah! Booyah! One team! I did it! Strategy! Not luck! Partly luck! Maybe it doesn't hate me! Okay, maybe! That is a lot of books of sweepers. I still love how Team Netzak killed everything. That's something to appreciate. And also kind of shows how stupid the Netzak department is. Boy, that was exhausting. Those sweepers sure are persistent. What kind of de deal could have made them so desperate, I wonder? The most I can tell is that the sweepers are losing their ground. So they tried to make a deal to do something about it. Could we get to know more? No idea. Maybe the invitation will show us the answer eventually. You seem to be weirdly fixed on the sweepers, by the way. What's up with that? Something about them smelled suspicious. They do have an awful smell, I'll give you that. Take a sniff of- uh, take a sniff of one of the- Take a sniff of those filthy bandages and your appetites. Are you insane? Yeesh, can't even crack a joke. Well, anyway, this is the first time our Miss Library Director let her intuition speak so much. I guess it won't hurt to keep an eye on th this case. Well. Yeah! None of them are... Purple. Why? Why are none of them purple? And obviously, because none of them are purple, we can just burn all their books without a, bu burn all their books without a worry. Ha 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 ha! Let's burn some extra sweeper books just to be safe. Right, we got Valerie, Lilia, Lilia, and four Anton. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm sorry. Did I just see the page? I thought I did. Recover two stagger resist on successful attack. Recover. 2 HP on successful attack. Recover 2 stagger resist on successful attack. Plus 1 defensive power dice. Recover 20% max. Th it's funny! I look at the sweepers and think they could be an alternative to Walter. And Walter's been needing an alternative. The, diff the problem is, is they don't have 2 dice. Which is always brilliant. But the thing they do have is first these legendary cards. Exclusive combat page can only be used with Pacific cards. Well, that means they can only be used with sweeper cards, which kind of makes sense. Extract fuel, that's just nice. That's just nice. Night in the back streets. I'm not sure what to think of that card. Sweep the back streets. That looks like a pretty decent hard hitting card. 
And then for the family. Which probably is a nice defensive card for, for a defensive character. Oh, that's fun. They had exclusive cards between them, but they're not exclusive to their combat pages. So it's not like we have that little. Also, we do get persistence. We did get persistence. Which is, frankly, stupid. It is a stupid card, that. It is an absolutely stupid card for us to be able to receive. Each character can only have one of it, clearly. Let's just test that. Yes, every character can only have one. But why wouldn't you? It's a get-out-of-death-free card. It's brilliant. Well, everyone, it's been an hour and 15 minutes to kill these guys, so that's been a while. I hope this this video hasn't been too short, because I can never guess how short these video videos are going to be, because I can never remember how much I talk during the combat scenes. So everyone, it looks like I'm all out of time for today. So what can I say other than join me next week, as we'll be fighting Tiberith's ab abnormalities. Ha ha ha. But everyone, I'm afraid that until then, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.